where would we put 13 over 5 on this number line? So first, let's make sure what these slashes represent on the number line. So when I have, I'm starting at 0, 1 slash, 2 slash, 3 slashes, and they're marking this as 3. So each slash must be 1. So this must be 1, and this must be 2. And it all works out 1, 2, and 3. Now, for the way my brain works, I like to write this 13 over 5 as a mixed number. So it, it lets me know how far, well, up to what number should I go to, and then how far past that number should I go. So let's write this as this improper fraction as a mixed number. And the easiest way to do that is divide 5 into 13. So let me write this. 5 goes into 13. 13 fifths is the same thing as 13 divided by 5, as 13 divided by 5, or 5 divided into 13. 5 goes into 13 2 times. 2 times 5 is 10. And our remainder is going to be 3. So 13 over 5 is the same thing, is the exact same thing as 2, as 2 and 3 over 5. 2 and 3 over 5. 2 and 3 over 5. And so now we're ready to plot it. If we keep increasing, this is 1. This gets us to 2. But now we have to go another 3 fifths. And so let me mark off the fifths over here. So this is 1 fifth, 2 fifth, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, and then 5 fifths will get us to the next whole number, which is 3. So 3 of these fifths, so 1, 2, 3, puts us right over there. That is 13, 13 over 5. We went 1, 2, and then we looked at the fifths. We went 1, 2, 3 fifths, 2 and 3 fifths, or 13 over fifths, 13 over 5.